guys, Eddie67716 here, and this is my 8th tutorial on Minecraft Survival. And this tutorial is gonna be all about chemistry, and maybe a bit about building blocks. Okay, so, I'm gonna start off by making a brewing stand, just like this one, by putting blaze rod, which you get from killing blazes, and cobblestone. Okay, I've got two now, and I could use this to double my production. Anyway, you're gonna need bottles, which you can make with with glass by putting it here, here, and here. And you can fill the bottles up with water by right-clicking the water source. Okay, so now I'm going to make an awkward potion, which is the basis for all other potions. Now, you're gonna need nether wart to make any good elixirs, because that strengthens the effect of whatever you're putting it. You will also need blaze powder to power the cauldrons, like this, and here. Now I've got a few bottles here. Now some things you can do is blaze rod and magma creams. Now with awkward potions, anything makes a strengthening of any there are certain items that you put in a potion, I mean. Like, I'll start off with blaze powder. Since blazes get their energy from blaze powder, if you put it in an elixir, it gives you strength. Now, I'll just make some other potions here. Not with blaze powder, but with... With an... With the other ward. And... There are some good potions you can make. Like... Now, th this is just about done, and you can make the effects double by putting glowstone in it. And now with this lot, I'll make a few other potions. Now, well, if you put a spider eye in an awkward potion, since spiders are poison, which spider eye is poisonous, so if you put that in a potion, it strengthens that effect. Now I've got some strength 2 potions. Now to increase the durancy of a potion, you need redstone. That means it will make the potion last longer. However, it will... No wait, it won't work with that. Let's see here. I will, I will lengthen the effect of the poison with the redstone. While that's happening, I shall make a... Hmm, let me think. I know, a fire resistance potion. Now to get that, you need magma cream, which you can get from magma blocks, or you can even craft it from slime balls and blaze powder. Because that is probably why magma creams are so dangerous to fire, because they, they eat blazes or something like that. Who knows? And with this last potion, I'll make a speed potion, which you can use with sugar. Because uh, sugar makes people hyperactive, so naturally, increasing the effects of sugar will make you even more hyperactive and can run quicker. And you can increase the durancy or the potency with glowstone or redstone. Anyway, now that I got some of these potions done, I'm gonna test out some of their effects, but just before I do that, I I'll get a night vision pro potion. Oh, there's a creeper, I shall sniper you. Gotcha. Okay, now I'm heading towards my farm. As you can see, I've increased my farm, and I've also put a roof on my house. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay, now I shall get some of my carrots. And as you can see right now, I've I've also made my farm bigger. Ooh, I've run out of carrots. Which is far more than for eating. But farming is your main resource of food. Now let's go back and brew that night vision potion. Okay. No skeleton, I do not want to engage in battle with you at the minute. Why can't we just sang a GG or something? Okay, now I got that. I'll craft a potion of night vision with an ingot. You turn that into nuggets. Then you get a carrot, put it in the middle, and surround it by nuggets. That gives you a golden carrot, 
which no matter how empty of I don't remember how much but I don't remember how many mushrooms it feels but it has the highest saturation but I'll just throw away these potions for now and these potion ingredients but here I'll turn this poison potion into a projectile by putting gunpowder in it which will thin the mixture and I'll come back when that's done okay now I'm just getting some more aqua potions ready so I can make some night vision Let's just get some redstone and if you have if you just put a fermented spider eye which you make with sugar which you get from sugar cane a type of brown mushrooms and this and brew it straight into water without nether wart that will make a weakness potion well we expect fermented drinks do ah weak make people weak I mean I'll just brew this carrot in and there's another thing you can use fermented spider eyes for and that is to make invisibility potions because it it and the gold thing Yes, some vitamins of the carrot mix up and cancel each other out, which makes an invisibility potion. I'll brew that in and come back when that's done. And now that that's done, I'll put some redstone in to increase the durancy of the potion times. Okay, now that's done, I'm going to test out the effects of some of these potions. First of all, I'll start with the invisibility potion. If you drink it, it makes you invisible. Completely invisible, but you have to have your hand and your armor slot empty and your shield slot. But, and even then, you can still see particles. I'll just put my armor back on and get back into first person view. And... Night vision potion is basically self-explanatory, lets you see in the night. Now also drink some of this strength potion and combat these monsters. It makes you slightly stronger with these strength potions and then with glowstone they're even more stronger. Gotcha. These skeletons and the spider there are sickening. There's past two. Now I'll see if I can test out the effects of my poison potion on something. I think I'll try this creeper over here. Because if you throw out zombies and skeletons... Oh, I missed. No, wait, I got him. Run away. Because okay. if, if you throw poison at anything deadly... At, I mean, at anything that's undead, like zombies, zombie pigmen, and skeletons... It actually regenerates their health. You can only make put deal damage to them with potions if you throw regeneration at them. Okay, now that I've tested the effects on some of these, I'll go back and show you a bit more on building in my house. Okay. Come on, no, I do not want to engage in battle anybody. I want to get home. No battle, no battle. Okay, now I'll just... Go, go I'll just put away this stuff, and then I'll show you a bit of some building materials to build. These are quartz materials, and you build them out of a few stuff like quartz, I think. Have I got any more? I've used up four quartz, but this is made from four quartz in a square. This is made from two quartz blocks vertically. This is made the same recipe as all other stairs. These are made by putting three quartz blocks in a row. These, that I'll just show you how it's made, is by putting stone like this and it makes a smooth looking block. You can make stone bricks, which are good for castles with stone. And, and, and then you can turn it into, how is it to make it cracked? I don't know. Remember? No, I do not remember. Was it something like that? No. Nope. But you can make stairs the same way as anything in slabs. Which I used to build the roof of my house. Anyway, that's the end of this tutorial. If you like, please leave a like. And if you want to see some more from me, you could please subscribe. Anyway, this is me out.